Hi and welcome to Ben African Cichlids. Here we're in Martin's amazing fish room. It's my son. I he's actually finished bagging some solosis for a client, so I'm gonna show you how to bag them. So it's important when you bag the fish to put one third water and two third air. So here we're gonna grab a bag. I rolled, we rolled them at the top, like that, uh, it keeps air at the top and then the bags won't sink into the water when you put your, when you add your fish in. So that's a little trick there. So make sure you unroll the bag above the aquarium because when you unroll, unroll it, it's gonna have lots of, uh, lots of water and the fold of it. So now I'm going to put the airline that I have here set up with the valve ready to go for when we bag fish. So usually Martin put all the, catch all the fish, put them in bags and then uh, I tie them for them, for him. So you put the airline in here and make it stick in the bag a little bit. Just do one turn so the air stays in the bag and uh, Put a little bit more here. So now it's filling up nicely. So it's getting pretty hard. I just take the airline out. I still have the twist so the air stays in. Now we're gonna just keep rolling the bag until this part here starts folding by itself back onto the bag. I'm not sure if you guys can see the top of the bag. Oh yeah. See how it wants to start turning itself naturally. So now I just let it turn. Grab elastic. Since doing some paper roots, so I have tons of plastic here. You just keep twisting and then wrapping. Just gonna turn it a little bit more. And then I'm trying to bink the elastic go more at the bottom of the at the bottom of the twist. Just so it doesn't unravel itself. And then if there's a little bit loose of the elastic after that, it's okay, because it's raveled pretty good there. So now the the bag is nice and tough. So <coughs> for a fish bag, sometimes you'll have You'll have those corner here, and then what happens is when people transport it, it can fold like that. But if you have a fish in here, well, you know your fish won't make it all the way home. So what we do, let's see how all this side is round here. So now we grab another bag, we double bag all of our fish. And that's for if there's a leak for some reason, then I'll keep the water in and I'll slow down the leak. I put the, the bag a little bit, like maybe a quarter of the way or a third of the way. And I bring the rest in to make sure there's not too much air. Because when there's hair in it, then I can just put my finger in here and then push on the bag. Now all the air is gone from the top. Just unfold the bag like this, and then when we get to the bottom, I'll turn the bag nice and slow so you don't hurt the fish. And now, when we're gonna transport it, we'll transport it on the round part of the bag where the fish cannot get stuck in the fold. And then I'll do the same thing with this, but we don't need to put air on the second bag. You actually don't want air in there because you don't really want place for the water to be able to escape if there's a leak in the other bag. Now you just twist it so it's on fold. Now the second bag won't have as much sticking up and then I'll just do the elastic the same in the other one. So again you grab the elastic, twist, put it over twist 
and you try to keep the elastic as close to the bag as possible so it cannot unravel. Do not worry about the extra, those are long so they won't unravel on there. So now the bag is perfect, we're ready for transport, it's going to be a happy customer, all the fish are going to make it home. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful to you. Leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like. Alright, happy fish keeping, bye.